Welcome back to BYU Sports Nation. We are live in Studio B, and we have a couple of sensational super seniors here. I've been here so long. Man. From BYU I can't Women's believe Soccer. they're leaving. Like, <laughs> I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. First <laughs> yeah. What's up? Super in so many ways. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you, Thanks, guys. You got a little bit of a break here before the tournament. Um, it feels like just game, practice, game, practice. Like, what? Do you feel like you have a breather before you get into this Big 12 tournament? Like, what, what's the schedule like over the next few days? Yeah, well, we haven't, we played Monday, right? It was our last Big 12 conference game, and then don't play till next Monday. So, with the Big 12 schedule, it's been so busy. Yes. This yes. Thursday, Monday, the traveling, it's been a lot. So, to have this week and to kind of regroup and take a break a little bit has been nice. That is nice. Thanks for getting all three goals out in the first half because I had to take my five year old home. Yeah, so, I left yeah. at halftime. The game winning goal had already been yeah, scored. Good. So I really appreciate you. that. Yeah. Thank you for being so unselfish. So, <laughs> so aware. This, this tournament thing is new, right? WCC didn't do this. Mm -mm. Um, so, Olivia, what's it like to like go into this tourney and, frankly, hopefully you meet up with Texas Tech in the end and mm -hmm. have an opportunity for a big win to maybe get a one seed? How are you guys feeling? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the goal is obviously to go in and do some damage in the Big 12 tournament. We're super excited. Obviously, the WCC didn't have this, and I think it's a great opportunity for us to prepare for the NCAA tournament. So I feel like just getting this experience a little bit earlier will really help boost us into the NCAA tournament. And like you said, we are playing for a one seed that is on the table still, and so as long as we go take care of business, I think that's something we can definitely go get. BYU women's soccer standouts, Jamie Shepard and Olivia Way are on BYU Sports Nation. As you compare and contrast the Big 12 <laughs> with the West Coast Conference, now that you've gone through a full Big 12 regular season, and both of you can chime in on this, mm -hmm. what's been the biggest difference between playing in the WCC compared to the Big 12? I think right when we jumped into the Big 12, I, the first thing I did was kind of compare the teams. And looking at them, it was like, okay, the Big 12 has normally a couple, three or four top teams that are normally in the top 25, and mm -hmm. so does the WCC. But I think overall the Big 12 has just been a little bit more competitive. And going to these bigger schools, bigger name schools, bigger um, – and nicer facilities and fields. Everything has just felt bigger to me. Mm -hmm. um, but it's been super fun to, for our senior year, go and play some new teams and some new competition. And I'm grateful I got one year in the Big 12. Yeah, it's been so fun. And especially, I feel like the soccer has been a lot different than maybe the kind of soccer that we've seen in the WCC. Mm -hmm. I feel like West Coast soccer is definitely different from maybe like Southern soccer. Yeah. A lot of it has been... A little sure. bit different. So Correct me I if I'm wrong, but the WCC felt finesse at times. Yes. The Big 12 feels very physical. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Is that fair? Sometimes finesse yes. is considered weaker, but it's not. Yeah. It, there's more just style maybe mm -hmm. in yes. finesse. Yes. Yeah. As opposed to physical, just like more power. I don't For know. Sure. How would you guys I mean, count? yeah, there's pros and cons to, to each. Mm -hmm. I feel mm -hmm. like, um, you know, the Big 12 teams, they're very talented, but I feel like as well, they're very fast, they're very strong, they're very tall. And I feel like it's a lot different from maybe the West Coast Conference where, you know, you just have a lot of really crafty players and that's kind of about as far as it goes. And that's not a knock on the WCC. They're obviously a really strong um, conference as well. It's just very different, I feel like, in terms of style of play. So. And, and the WCC, I think Santa Clara was better than the rest of the group traditionally, but Texas Tech has emerged as this sort of contender, right, with BYU in terms of like, hey, we're top 10, we want to be a one seed. So what's at stake next week in terms of trying to get a one seed? Because the RPI is three, but honestly, you probably need to get to the title game and beat Texas Tech. Is that how you feel? I would say yes. Okay. Um, yeah, next week's going to be big for us, and we're hoping to make it to that final game and hopefully win. I think that will be huge. Um, like you said, our RPI is at a three, and winning can only help us. So... We're hoping for that. And this tournament, like, it's a good league. It's good teams. You're not killed by a late game at yeah. name school mm -hmm. that's in the 200s, right, mm -hmm. which is awesome. I know that you're all, I mean, you're both competitive. Very, very oh. Just a little ultra bit. Oh. crazy competitive. Passive, okay. <laughs> mild manners. And if I had competitive rankings for everybody on the roster, you two would be probably at the top, okay? Like, you're, you're up there, right. yeah. okay? <laughs> that said, because of what happened against TCU and Texas Tech, do you want to see both of those teams in the Big 12 tournament? There were ties. For oh, yeah. yeah. We've yes. talked about that. We've been talking yes. about that, I feel like, ever since the bracket came out, just how excited we are to kind of have a little revenge tour. <laughs> Everyone that we play, you know, we've either tied or beat. So, I mean, it's a great opportunity for us to really go 
finish what we started during the season. So yeah, we're just super excited for that. So excited to see TCU on that same side. <laughs> we're hyped. Like, couldn't have worked out better. Yep. Is it, how did you guys rebound from two moments in the season? One is losing at Utah State. It's your only loss. Mm -hmm. And then uh, TCU at home. It's a huge crowd. It's the Big 12. Yeah. Tie. And you come back to tie. Like, you needed a great effort. How have you guys sort of regrouped? Because in 2021, you rallied post-UVU loss to go to the national title game. Mm -hmm. Have these two in some way rallied this group again in a similar manner? I would think so, yeah. I just – we talk a lot about – um, there's going to be lots of highs and lots of lows in the season and no season is perfect. And, um, we it was almost pretty perfect. Almost, <laughs> almost. We honestly rather have these, those moments, yeah. you know, earlier in the season, I think they're good for us and they've helped us grow and we've learned a lot and have only gotten better from there, from them. And so as sucky as they are, those highs and those lows, they're definitely needed and are going to propel us to do hopefully great things. Is it weird to feel like you could have two more games or nine more games? It is There's weird. a lot that could happen mm -hmm. here. Yeah, I always feel like this part of the season's very interesting just because yeah. you're like, all right, we could be playing till December or, mm -hmm. you know, we could be done pretty, pretty early. And so yeah. I feel like, you know, just taking it game by game, making sure that we are playing yeah. until December is kind of just our main focus, just taking it one game at a time. 100 games played for Jamie Most in BYU history. Yep. Let's go, Jamie. Come on. And, so then, and then you're up there too, Liz. Super senior. I feel like I'm in the 90s somewhere, but hey. Like a, like She's up there. Almost 200 a mere games 90 <laughs> Just 90. Hey, I'm not at 100. That's triple digits right there. Gosh. That's, uh, that's unbelievable. All the players in BYU history. Incredible. Number one in games played. Thank that's you, awesome. COVID. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have other words for COVID uh, off camera, but yeah. All right, we'll finish with this. Everybody, every team wants home field advantage during the NCAA tournament. Mm -hmm. You were gangbusters on the road in the Big 12 specifically. Yeah. You dominated on the Last road. year in the NCAA tournament. Yes. Yeah. So, weirdly, you play super well on the road. Like, is, what is it? What is it about that? Why, why do you play so well on the road? I think there's something about being on the road. It's just you and your teammates and your coaches. And you're just, you know, you kind of have to come together and just lock it in and – Obviously, being at BYU, we get a great fan base wherever we go um, and normally have more fans than the home team. And Round so, Rock, Texas, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Honestly, any game is a home game for us, but True. I think something about those home games, we know we kind of have to show up. So, yeah. All right, let's go. Good, let's give you some good, BYU Sports Nation karma. Yeah. Take the karma. Have Round fun. Rock, Texas, Even let's Saturday. go. Yes. Karma. Spirit Monday, fingers. Oklahoma, Oklahoma State winner. Yep. Let's okay. go. Yes. And we called you super seniors. But super can mean a lot of things, right? Super yeah. duper yeah. senior. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks okay. for joining us. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, guys.